Hey everybody and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to paint this landscape, this really kind of surreal fantasy landscape. And I'm just going to go over the colors I'm using. I've got titanium white, lemon yellow, turquoise bright aqua green, neon pink, light blue violet, and a little bit more white on this little palette here. So I'm just going to take one of my large brushes and I'll start, I've got a number 50 here and a 16 by 20 canvas. I pre-painted gray. Get a little bit of water on my brush and just wet the canvas a little bit. Okay, then I'm gonna take my white and my yellow first. And just start applying it. A little bit of that yellow and white right here. I'm going to paint this quite quickly so that I can get the colors to blend into one another. And that's another reason why I added a little bit of water to the canvas. Depends on how um, cool your room is that you're painting in. That'll determine how quickly it'll dry. Without washing my brush off, white and pink. a little bit more water just to help work out all that paint that's in my brush I've got quite a bit and I'll start to layer over pick up some blue now <clears throat> And I just took a little bit left over blue and pink and just added it to the top here. Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit of turquoise. Still haven't washed my brush out. A little bit of white. one of my blending brushes. I've got a round mop brush. I'm going to get it a little bit wet and I'm going to soften any harsh edges like this bunch of paint here. I'm just going to really, really lightly just swirl the brush around to soften it. take another one that's drying clean so I don't bring all that uh, turquoise up in this section. I like this powder blue and peach area up here. And just taking a little bit more of my yellow pink and white. So you can see I've got a little bit left here. And then a little bit more of the pink. A 
I'm going to add some, quite a bit of white over top of all of that yellow just so that it doesn't dry looking green against the dark underpainting that we have. I'm just going to get this edge here, just with whatever's on my brush, so I've got a little bit of that yellow there. Soften this with a little bit more white and turquoise. Got a little bit of that uh, yellow left in my brush that's coming out. That's okay. I think that looks kind of pretty there. The next brush I'm going to use is a number four filbert brush. I'm going to get it a little bit wet, take the last little bit of my pink and add a little bit of white and just a little bit of yellow to it. And I'm going to come in and just start making little scoops for some peaks in the clouds of the sky here. Okay, let me take just a little bit more, a little bit of turquoise and white. And I think I'll just add a little bit of water right in here. Make it look really soft and match all the other tones going on here in the distance. This is gonna be the view that we're seeing. Adding some white really soften it even more because I know once it dries it's going to be a bit darker than this so you can counteract that now by adding a little bit more white. I'm going to add a little bit of burnt sienna. I'm going to use a small liner brush. This is a number two. I think I'm going to add some little trees back here so I'll take a little bit of burnt sienna yellow and white. Make sure it's nice and, and light. And I'll just start over here and just sweep in a few little leaning trees. And then maybe another one back in here. Don't forget to add a little bit of water to your brush. It really, really helps. And I'll add a bigger one here. Any little imperfections that I don't like, you know, say right about there. I'll just go over with uh, my leaves or flowers, whatever type of tree that it's going to be. I don't really know yet. just a little bit more. I'm going to mix a little bit of my turquoise with my burnt sienna and add a little bit of a shadow here.
Okay, I'm going to use one of my oval one inch mop brushes and I think I'll just take a little bit of this burnt sienna and turquoise here. Bright aqua green turquoise is the shade. And it's by most of the paints I'm using today are by Liquitex Basics Acrylics, except for the neons, all the neon colors, any neon colors that I use. Um, I think I've just got pink right now, but I might add another one. They're by Holbein, and I've got a link below for those. So I'm just going to lightly tap for the first layers of treetops here. And then just have a little bit kind of down and around here at the base. Okay, I've got another one. It's clean and dry. And I'm just going to take a little bit of weight this time for my highlight. And just to soften, I'll start here at the back, the one that's the furthest back. And we'll give them really soft, minty green tone to them now. Remember, it'll dry a little bit darker than this. some maybe around the side here little bits of bushes and soft pastel colored little trees that are in bloom I'll just add a little bit more here. Slightly go over some of these areas back here to make them look a little bit more in the distance. Just going to take a little bit of pink and white. And add some right in here balance out some of that minty green color that we have and just add a little bit more complementary color. Pink and green look really nice together. Again, just a little bit of pink and white. And then I think I'm going to give these a little bit of a, a weeping willow look. I'm just going to take a bit of white and green. And I'll just pull down beautiful areas here. Maybe not quite a weeping willow, but maybe there's just some hanging vines. Okay, 
Then I'm going to take my white, a little bit of yellow, some water on my brush, and I think maybe from here, here, I've already got, it looks like a sun right here, so I'm just going to use that as a guide to go by. Maybe I'll add right area here. A little bit more water on my brush. Gentle pulls. add a few more uh, bushes down here. I'll continue just using the same colors that I have, maybe just a little bit of that burnt sienna. And I think I'll add a little bit more right here. And then I'll come in with some white again. I know this turquoise will look nice with these colors here, so I'll add a little bit here as well. And a little bit of white. Tap, gentle pull and sweep. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is take some black, mix it with white, and I'm going to start coming in with my window. I don't care if I pick up any of these other colors here, it doesn't matter because the black is going to be really dominant. Okay, so I'm going to come on an angle right here. I'll bring it all the way down. And I just finished doing a tropical um, view out the window. Same sort of uh, window frame. So if you want to check that out, it's in my seascape and tropical playlist. And then I'm going to go along that line again, that diagonal line. And pull across. And just gently even this out, take a little bit of paint off. I 
and just continue. at that diagonal line again for the inside of the window frame. And then along the bottom, again with that diagonal. We can add a little bit of light hitting the frame here by adding a little bit of white. We'll take just a little bit more black and add some shadow, just a little bit of shadows along the outer edges. Add a few waterfalls. I'm going to use my angle brush. This is uh, number 10. Some white. You can tint your white with any of the pastel colors. Maybe I'll have a little bit more paint, a little bit more paint and water. Thank you. 
So we'll just add these pretty cascading waterfalls in the distance. It'll add to our pretty view. We'll add a little path, a little bit of turquoise, burnt sienna, and white. We will have a little path that cuts in here. And then I'll just take some white. take a little bit more turquoise now and burnt sienna with a mini mop brush and I'll just get the edges of this path a little bit of white And then just soften around the edge a little bit. I'm going to add a little bit of a highlight just to soften, give these trees a little bit more of a pastel tone. branches in here. Just going to use some white now. And just wiggle in. Okay, now I'm going to come down from here, right over that path. Take some white. Just 
And this will just be a highlight to that gray. We'll give our window a little bit of a more of a 3D look. I'm going to go underneath with a little bit more black. We'll do the same thing here. I'm going to line right down and just sort of eyeball it. And I'll come in with my white. I'm going to add some light inside this part of the window frame.
I'm gonna add my light olive green with a little bit of black. So I just tapped into some black there. I'm gonna tap in, this is a one inch uh, angle mop brush, but you can use any size, any shape of mop brush that you have or that you wanna use. So I'm gonna start it right about here. Have it kind of pouring out the window. And I'll have some Coming from up here too, I think that would be kind of pretty. Get this painting a little bit more depth. a little bit more black to my green. make sure I have quite a few of these mop brushes on hand. I'm just going to take a dry clean one and go into my light olive green now. And I'll just start adding some highlights partially over top of the dark. Gonna add our dry a little darker than this, so that's why I'm being a little bit generous. Just so that it uh, doesn't dry completely black after. I want it to have this earthy green tone to it. a little bit more black. It's right down here. I feel like it's not quite dark enough. I have a little bit on the windows too. Vines just sort of growing over and around. Just with a little bit of that Light olive green, tap, 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 and turn over. I'm 
then a little bit of white in with that green and just a little bit brighter highlights on some areas here I'm just going to use another filbert brush here. This is just for softening and blending. So just with a little bit of that light olive green and white, I'm adding a bit of a little bit more warmth here and earthiness to this area. Add a little flame right there and come in with a candle. take a little bit of yellow and burnt sienna and then a little bit of black around the base And then I'll just add a little bit of black here for the wick of the candle. And then a little line right there. I'm going to take white, neon pink, and a little bit of yellow for the color of the flame.
just little bits of white and yellow and pink. I'm going to add one of those little handles. Just a little sweep. So if you use a little bit of um, burnt sienna and yellow, you can give it sort of a brass look. Add a few little leaves in here. If you want it to look kind of like ivy, take a little scoop of light olive green and black. I'm using a size zero filbert brush, and you can just I like to do three leaves one and then one in the middle. Kind of just tap around, make it look like there's spots. Where this is, we're going to have a vine coming around. Of wrapping around like this. You can get really creative with this one and add flowers too if you wanted.
Let's take a little bit of white and light olive green and add a few more bright highlights. Make it look like there's some ferns. Some highlights inside some of these leaves. Okay, well, I think I'm going to call this painting done. This was really, really fun, something different, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Uh, feel free to paint along. Check out the list of colors and the size canvas, links to Patreon, Instagram, Pinterest, and Facebook. And of course, please subscribe to my channel for more. And I'm always happy to show you guys a new painting, so don't forget to tap that bell so you get notified every time I post a new video and you won't miss out. Have a wonderful day. Bye!